What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want us to discuss and compare the Hex versus Ethereum regression rainbows. So if you like this kind of quantitative and technical hybrid analysis on Hex, Ethereum, Pulse Chain, and more, leave a thumbs up. Be subscribed and help us get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of the month. And with that said, let's talk a little bit about, or a lot about, this Ethereum versus Hex regression rainbow analysis that we have set up for you today. So I know if you saw on Twitter earlier, I was um, kind of hyping you guys up, saying I don't know if you guys are ready for tomorrow's charts, because when I saw them, I had to take a step back and, and tweet this, because you'll see. So if you're familiar with our Hex regression rainbow, then you can go ahead and you know probably skip a minute or so, but if you're new, welcome in, first of all, and I'll talk you through a little bit about how we created this model. So on the logarithmic chart, it's pretty simple. There's a pretty obvious, pretty blatant support line here on this bottoming data. As you can see, we had these clusters of data during which we, you know, more or less held support on this line. And we actually fit this line when we only had these first two, three, four clusters of data. And then what happened was this happened, a nice pump, retracement back to horizontal support and exponential support and it actually bounced off so nicely that just a couple weeks ago we decided to refit the data to include this right so at this point we have a very clean support line for hex that has lasted from january 2020 to i mean so far we're like <clears throat> a year and a half in of support amazing stuff now if you look at ethereum you, I asked myself, is there a similar line of support that held for the first year to three years? And the answer is yes, clearly, as you can see here, there is this line of support that goes from October of 2015 all the way to September of 2018, so almost three years. Now, I'm just going to take a little step back and remind you guys something we've discussed on here because people have asked, right, can our regression rainbow hold forever? When will it break? What are the limits of it? And I've... I've tried my best to let you guys know that every model has its limits and specifically this model might be limited to three years or so. Where do I get that data? From here. Because if you look at Ethereum, right, you saw it held its exponential support for three years before diminishing returns kicks in and you can't just go up in a straight line on a log chart forever because that's actually exponential, right? So you can't go exponential just forever but can you go exponential for three years? Fuck yeah, you can, and Ethereum proved that. And this wasn't completely my idea. I have to I have to lay that out there and shout out the comment that we got, which was saying, hey, what if you did a regression number for BTC, for Bitcoin? And if you look at the Bitcoin chart, you'll understand why I decided to do Ethereum instead, because Ethereum has a, a cleaner, more more distinct um, support line, whereas on, on Bitcoin, it's a little... It's not, it's not that easy to actually fit a straight line through support data. So maybe we'll do that on Bitcoin in, in the future. I'll look at the chart again. But for now, this is the Hex versus Ethereum regression rainbow. So what we did was we took Ethereum data points from this these days here, this cluster, this cluster, some days over here, and some days over here. And if you notice, when we actually broke, broke this line, which just speaks more to its significance, we had a a pretty big waterfall like just look at this candle right we had a nice support here you could call this a bear flag and then once we broke through it again it was an absolute waterfall taking us from the high 200s to pretty much the end of uh, that bear market down to like 80 bucks so what happens when you fit a line through multiple data points and then take a maximum extension right from that data point and then fit the set of lines well you get a regression rainbow which is what we did on hex and one thing that I found to be very very interesting is I, I might be getting a little ahead of myself here let me show you guys the chart this is your ether regression rainbow and what I was getting at was first of all enjoy it I'll shut up for a second just enjoy it this is the ether regression rainbow <clears throat> If you take a look at how far extended above it we got on price, I did the calculation up here. It's 20.28. Why is that interesting to me? Well, if you look at how far extended we got on hex price, it was 20.6. So this number simply 
how far extended above this red curve did we get, right? And for hex, it was this point over here, uh, May of 2020, when we got super far extended above it, about 20x, right? And I just find that very interesting that on its first bubble, Ethereum didn't reach that max extension. It actually reached its max extension over here on like day, what is this? Like day 684 or something. So if we take the analogy to hex, then that would be approximately, you know, four months from now, where it would be reaching its first 20x overextension, whereas we did it on day like 100 and something. So that's pretty interesting. First of all, I'll just leave that there. But what happens if you if you take your extension from fit on this chart so we can create something like this, right? So we have this for hex and I created something similar for, for ether. So I'm, I'm about to show you a chart and then I'll explain sort of what the implications might be of that chart. So the chart I'm gonna show you right now, it's gonna be this chart, the extension from fit for hex, but beneath it with a dotted line is gonna be the Ethereum extension from fit and Obviously, it'll continue on longer than Hex has existed, so it'll sort of provide a guidance, more or less, to where we could be going, and let me show you that right now. <clears throat> and it's right here. Let me zoom in a little bit. So again, this is your extension from FIT. It's this chart. It's just this chart, but beneath it, we have laid out what our Ethereum extension from FIT is. And if you can see, Yes, it checks out because on the Ethereum extension from FIT, we reached purple, if you remember. So if you see, we reached purple region, came back down to red, pink, blue, back to pink. So if you look at the Ethereum one again, red, purple, back to red, pink, blue, back to pink. Okay. So just take a look at this for a second. Some similarities, some differences some obvious offset kind of action going on where we had our peak here on Ethereum, July 20, um, well, no, the dates are wrong, right? I would need a secondary x-axis. Yeah, this x-axis should actually be like days from launch, right? Not, not actual hard-coded dates, but hey, I'll fix that later. But more or less two months apart on, um, on these peaks here, on these peaks. And then, interestingly enough, this sort of bull flag action going on about two months apart. About two months apart. So it seems to be that we're two months ahead of Ethereum in terms of our, our price performance here on, on this chart. But just look at what happened after, right? So what happened after was we reached pink. came back down to blue, some consolidation for another sort of double top into pink. And this happened analogous, if it were analogous to it happening for hex and it playing out for hex, then this would be October, 2021 peak and May, 2022 peak. Remember that this move here played out two months quicker on hex. This move here is playing out about two months quicker on hex. So you could argue for well, maybe pink is reached instead of an October 21st, something like August 21st. So if you're playing it safe between August and October, let's just say September of 2021. And then this one over here, similarly, well, the moves have been playing out about two months faster. So two months before June 1st would be something like April 1st. So let's just say May, right, in between. All right, so we're looking at September of this year and May of next year potentially reaching the pink with some with some margin of error, right? And if we look at what that would mean for hex, we scroll up here. <clears throat> what would that mean for hex on our Fibonacci regression rainbow? Well, pink in August would be a dollar. Pink in October would be $2. And then you saw what happened with the ether regression rainbow came back down to the blue consolidated. And then if we reached another sort of double peak into the pink again, where was it? It was like, um, I think it was March to May. 
or no, it was April to April, May, or June of 2022, then that would imply anywhere from 15 to $30 summer of next year. So that is what this ether rainbow is projecting for us potentially, potentially, right? And here I did it backwards where we have our, our ETH extension in white and our hex performance so far here in, with the pink dotted line. So if it played out, it, it could imply, it could imply a potentially one to two dollar hex this fall, followed by consolidation and these upper bands, and then going up for another blow off top sort of second peak into the 15 to 30 dollar region potentially next summer or may so that's why i said i don't know if you guys are ready for these charts i don't know if you guys are ready for these charts let me know in the comments what you think do you think it's possible do you think it's probable for this to play out i mean it looks good to me it looks good to me you have a very very similar structure where you have this sort of run up back down, we had it on Hex, we had it on Ether, this run up into these regions back down, and then a recovery period for pretty much the final leg, the final year or so of your bull market. So we could still have a whole year to go potentially given the precedent set by Ethereum. So that's your video. Again, let me know in the comments if you think how, you know, how probable you think this scenario is. Um, do you think this two month offset is legitimate or do you think the whole idea of lengthening cycles will eventually cause this hex performance to pretty much catch up and not be ahead anymore? Uh, leave a like definitely if you enjoy this kind of hybrid quantitative technical analysis on hex and more because it takes a while to make these uh, these charts and yeah, I think this is a good one. I think this is a good one. This one for the books. Appreciate you watching and yeah, once again, follow on Twitter. If you haven't already, let's get to 1,000 on Twitter. Pretty close. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.